It's a great occasion for South Wales. We've got two teams in the Premiership. Uh, the fans have waited a great time for it. Uh, we started planning for this in June this year. Obviously, the, uh, the Cardiff Swansea game and the Swansea Cardiff games take on uh, a great deal of significance as far as the clubs, uh, the supporters, and, and thereby the police are concerned. Uh, but in our planning processes, we, we don't alter uh, the, way, the way we need police these games uh, to any other Premier League games. Uh, we're quite happy that uh, everything we've put in place will ensure that all the fans can enjoy the event, and that's the Cardiff fans, the Swansea fans. However, we've got sufficient resources in place. Should there be troublemakers at the game, we'll be able to deal with them quickly and efficiently. But the best way to, to police these games and to steward these games uh, is by uh, what is commonly known as a, a bubble trip, which essentially means all supporters travelling from Swansea to Cardiff who travel on coaches uh, that will leave um, the Liberty Stadium uh, Sunday lunchtime uh, and will travel with the police escort directly to, uh, to the Cardiff City Stadium. For me the success of the event would be a good game of football, everybody here safely, everybody home safely and for me no arrest at all. Well today, a couple of days before the game, we go through the final uh, tactical briefing of all the police commanders and senior officers involved in the event together with our partners to go through all the planning and preparation that's been put in place over many months and just fine tune that, make sure everybody is uh, ready for Sunday. It's a massive game for South Wales in terms of uh, the profile of football, club football in South Wales, probably the biggest uh, club football match Wales has ever seen. Staff have just been briefed, so we're deploying now down to the Liberty Stadium. That's the staging area for the, uh, the fan base to travel to uh, the venue. As I said, it's 47 coaches, respect of it. They've all had vouchers issued to uh, the travellers, so only with a voucher can they get onto those buses. The buses will be lined up uh, numerically, the bus drivers will be briefed in respect of that. And then when the convoy is ready to go, we will li link in with that convoy and escort it to uh, an RVP just away from the stadium where those vouchers will then be changed for actual tickets to get into the stadium in conjunction with Cardiff City Football Club uh, in respect of it. And obviously they cannot get from the RVP to the stadium unless they have that ticket. Well, we're about an hour and a half from kickoff now. Um, people have been on for a number of hours. First thing, first thing this morning, we've started with the cones being put out, early uh, reconnaissance of the area, checking our information intelligence. Everything is going to plan as we speak. All the officers are being briefed and have been briefed tonight on the ground. Uh, and we've started to receive the first away fans into the ground. It's the 55th league derby between these two sides. It's the first in the top flight. It's the first Premier League game without an English team involved. It's history in the making as Swansea City kick off. It's time for cool heads. We just had the half-time briefing. Everything has gone uh, to plan. We're really pleased with that. Uh, the fans have been uh, very well behaved. We've had a uh, really good uh, rapport with them. The stadium staff and officials and the stewards all doing a good job. Uh, so things are going uh, are going very well. Bellamy hits it. Colker header. One nil Cardiff City. Stephen Colker with the header against his former club. Well, we've just uh, we've just seen the convoy exit uh, smoothly out the stadium. Uh, I've got to say, you know, from our perspective and the stadiums. Uh, and hopefully the fans, it's been a fantastic day. As a policing operation, it's been, uh, it's been very smooth. That's thanks to everybody involved, uh, both staff and the stadium support and everybody involved. And, uh, you know, we've had a, a very positive day, a good, uh, I think a good advert for South Wales, both uh, from a football perspective, but uh, as an event, 
and, uh, and something that uh, we can be proud of.